Macros can be created and managed from your settings under Workspace Data. You can navigate here from your inbox by hitting Command and K and searching for Manage Macros. When you create a macro, you'll want to add a couple of things. A descriptive title, so agents can clearly see what your macro is about. Your macro copy. This is what will be sent to customers in the inbox. As well as text, you can add attributes to add dynamic people and author data to your response. You can add media, like articles or GIFs, and additional content. This means you can create macros that mimic how your agents typically respond to customers. Macros let you go beyond text, though. So once a macro is added, actions can be completed automatically. So you can assign conversations to other teams or teammates, mark them as a priority, and add conversation tags, for example. When you create macros, you can define whether they're available for all teammates, only you, as the creator of the macro, or specific teams, like your support team. You can also choose when they're available. So can they be accessed at any time, only when starting a conversation, replying to a conversation, or just for notes? These options let you organize macros and make it really easy for teammates to find the content they're looking for when they need it. And when teammates are in the inbox, they can create macros from the responses they send. Just click the three dots under a response and choose Save Reply as Macro. Teammates have the same options here to add a heading, actions, and choose who it's available for. Macros are one of the best ways to save time in the inbox and ensure consistency across your team. For more ideas on what kind of macros to create, check out our example macros and best practices.